able to rush you down. You know, same thing as same thing like Dalsam, right? In this game, like uh, you can you can totally get rushed down by those characters. So I apologize because of that uh, stupid uh, food delivery shit earlier. I might be stuffing my face while I'm commentating. So whatever, you guys are just gonna have to deal with it. It's all good. Hopefully, I don't get like my food all over my mic. The jury, huh? So taking a page out of Sleepy Man's book. Oh, that was not a combo. What was that? Some sloppiness. Oh, that was good. That was good. Fully charged V-Skill. I wonder if he picked this matchup on purpose. Okay, so V-Skill. The anti-fireball, so it'll go through and punish your fireball. But you do have it. have to have it uh, charged up or else it's uh, really slow. AD pressure in a corner. Doesn't want him out. And so one, one thing to notice is that um, Roku Bear is um, staying at a range where he still can anti her if he moves back, as he's keeping him in a corner, keeping keeping Carnage in a corner. Okay, there you go. Oh, and a DP busts out. Okay, who's so gonna? Oh, very nice reactions. Oh, this is this is actually a close round. Oh, and the activation. Didn't believe the plus frames. You had no meter, dude. Maybe he tried to V shift. I'm not sure. But yeah, you know, trying to V shift um, just frame is very hard. <laughs> buck bang. Hell no. My God, you guys don't want to see a buck bang from me, man. That shit is that shit is disgusting. Okay, and the meter usage works out. Not sure how he got hit by EX Sonic Boom from that far away. Okay, not far enough to pun not close enough to punish. Okay, and the corner pressure again. See, Roku Bear is really good at this. Roku Bear, that's what, what he wants. He wants the corner control. Okay, that was actually punishable, but he stops the string early. So, one thing to know about this game is that you're not going to be able to punish everything. And the closeout. Okay, after after the the light kick release, the, we call that the Roomba, because because you know, <laughs> Wang don't eat, he mauls. Oh, that's that's right, dude. That's right. That's pretty much uh, the corner control, and then my food is in the corner. <laughs> okay, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna finish commentating this match, and then I'm gonna go grab my food. <laughs> All right, all righty, okay. So, so Rokubir needs to remember, maybe it's a little bit of uh, inexperience with this game, but he needs to remember that when the V-Skill is filled up, see on the bottom left-hand corner, the V-Skill is filled up, it's lit up, gold, uh, and, and you know, when you use it, it's not, it's a uh, gray, right? So when it's lit up, you can't boom from a predictable distance or reactable distance. Yeah. Gotta remember that. Carnage playing playing very very solid. I'm I'm uh, pleasantly surprised. Very good. Oh, and the corner control again. Oh no, how's she gonna get out? She needs to find the gap. Try to get out. Wow, cheeky jump. Very cheeky jump in with no anti. -air. Jeez. Oh what? And the drops. I don't know what that was. Maybe he didn't practice V trigger combos. <laughs> That's okay, he got the V skill. Oh no, and a misreaction. I don't know what he was looking for there. Jeez. Okay, and then now Rookie Bear. Oh no, and the confirm. That was actually kind of sick. A little whiff punish on a knee bazooka? Really? And now he's gonna. Oh my god, Rookie Bear, please. You gotta watch that meter, man. You can't boom from predictable distance. Oh my god, he could have eaten it again. Oh my god, but Carnage wasn't ready. Oh, and he get, takes the bait. He could have gotten a sweep actually on that, but he took the bait. That was the V trigger Sonic Boom, so that was a that was a nice bait from Roku Bear, but doesn't get the optimal punish. That's okay. Showing a little bit of inexperience with this game. This like these little things are what matters. I, I think at the higher levels, obviously every little thing matters. Oh, nice jump in! Wasn't ready for that. Random sweep, crush counter, but no mix-up afterwards. All right. Oh, yep, yep. Okay, he jumps out of the corner. Carnage going in a little bit too hard there. Oh crap! I, you know, I should, I should really take my camera off. What the fuck am I doing? Hold on. I'm in the wrong scene. Yeah. Okay. All right. There, that's a lot better. What? What? What's going on? 
something happened with his controller? I don't know what happened there. Weird. Alright. Full stock on both sides. Oh, nice reverse. Well, nice throw on the reversal this way, man. You know, a lot of times human. Human, uh, oh, that's gonna be reversal, huh? Reversal. Oh, there you go. Oh no, I'm not sure why he used that. So one reason you would use that is uh, is to prevent your opponent from getting uh, V trigger. It's pretty good. Like for example, if you're playing against G or something like that, character with a really strong V trigger, you want to do that. But even then, it's kind of like you have to have a pretty big life lead in order to do that. I mean, as a strategy, I mean, it's all right, I guess. Like, nothing, nothing like super complicated, you know. So I was gonna say one thing that's interesting about this game. It really, well, it's, it's. I mean, it's definitely in other games as well. But uh, when you when you uh, hit a button into activation, you know, a lot of players wanna wanna do reversal. It's kind of the same way when you know in Guilty Gear when you like if you hit a hit a combo or whatever hit a combo and then they have burst. Um, it's pretty pretty noticeable when other players want to burst, um, especially if they're not uh, you know experienced with the game. Oh, I think it's one zero. Sorry, I will change that. That is one zero carnage. Sorry about that. I'm kind of like. My brain is kind of like off, oh, man. Win. Like, I don't know, with all these Glenjamins in the... Damn, man. Yeah, I can't even think anymore. You know? So 1-1. One, one. Got one on a board with, uh, for Roku Bear. Dude, this is only the... This is only the second match? And I'm already, like, getting messed up here, you know? God damn. <laughs> yeah, no. Good reminder, though. I didn't update the score. Roku Bear, you, you really need to start watching his view skill. You're not watching his view skill. You know, I really think Carnage can do that all the way if he's not going to respect it. Yeah. There you go. It looks like he's going to go for it more. But Roku Bear, I mean, I think he's might, he might be trolling a little bit, you know. Uh, he's not going to do that all the way, I think. Oh, very nicely spaced. Tip of the standing roundhouse. Very safe. It's only minus four. Well, I don't know what that is. I don't know what he's trying to go for. It's definitely not the combo though, I think. Oh no. The punish. Nice punish. Oh, okay. And the throw reset. Actually very dangerous to do in that situation. Because I think Carnage with all that meter, I think he was about one hit away. Or maybe two hits. Depending on his optimization. Being that the first time it's the first time I saw him playing jury, maybe two hits. He spent CA, probably could have taken that round. Oh that was crazy. What was that? Did you guys see that? It went it, it was like a cross-up, then it wasn't a cross-up. Oh, here we go again. Corner corner pressure. Jumps away. I don't know if that was a There you go. That's the punish I'm looking for. Good shit. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, I guess uh, it was a misread on the or misreaction on the Sonic Boom earlier that uh, let him do that. It's okay though. Ooh, nice CA confirm over here. And you gotta watch out for the V skill again, Roku Bear. But not from that close. Notice that there's impossible to react from that close. You can still boom. A lot of people don't realize that, but fireballs. Not it. Not you can't act it. The closer you are, the harder it is to. Uh, to reliably react, you know, you gotta you gotta play around with those distances. These games are designed very well in that respect. <laughs> Cancelled? No, nah, we're in Hawaii. I don't give a fuck, dude. Seriously, man. I'll say whatever the fuck I want. I don't care about any of that shit. Round one. Fight. Can't fuck out of here. Okay, all right. <laughs> Signature. You know, money green, I guess. Money green ball. Uh, 
Vega, Claw. We've got the... I don't even know what... What do you call that outfit on Honda? It's like some kind of formal shit. Oh, dude. He's gonna abuse that all day. I don't know if Sean got punished for that. Dude, if if Koopa knows that you're not gonna come punish that, he's just gonna he's just gonna do it all day. That's okay. Dude. Very nice. About even in life now. Oh no in the corner control. Let's see what okay, mash buttons. Oh my goodness. Sweep. Okay, okay. My goodness. Nice reverse. Didn't want to guess on the match. Huh? Dude, that is cheap, man. If you never had to deal with that before, you always end up jumping early. <laughs> Alright, first round. Koopa. Let's fucking go. Alright, my voice might sound a little bit... Uh, because I need to like, oh, oh, yeah. Otherwise, I'm gonna get in my food. Oh no, and accidental cancel, cancel it. Alright. Yeah, looking a little bit uh, green with the matchup. <laughs> green. So, after heavy hands, you get a one, one, two. I guess it was a good call, but you know, Kupa has meter. You don't know if he's gonna be on that and spend his meter right there. both sides. Very nice. Second round, Eric go. Final round. needs to build that one gauge back, get a few random hits in, just oh, okay, so he's not going to see it, oh my god, and the mash, and the mash, but you know what though, that's five frames, oh, there's no excuse for that, so, it was kind of a mash, but we got one on the board,
watch this bitch. <laughs> I, can hear, I can hear you saying that from all the way over here, man. <laughs> Dude, Koopa's getting away with way too many of these, man. One way to deal with it is just a neutral jump, man. You know, make him, make him uh, second guess himself before he does it. Jeez. Yeah, that is plus. So it's interesting the dynamic with that particular mix-up, right? But it, it's plus two, but the problem... Oh shit, what? Reset two. Holy shit, and the meter advantage? Really? Oh my god. Now he's just gonna sit on the lead. I think Eric built it. I think... Vega can go strong down. It's a uh, medium one. So you gotta know which one he's doing though. So if you haven't played this match, it's kind of annoying. Oh, nice, nice. Oh no. Full meter on Honda side, really scary. I got faith in Eric build though. Let's go, man. Let's, let's go, Claw. He just sit, he's just gonna sit there. Turtle style. Oh god. He stuffs the headbutt somehow. I think he might go in for a command throw. Oh my god, he's gonna wait it out. Boring! <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> and the headbutt from down. Oh, well, actually, it was like in his face. Timer scam. Smart play at the end. Honda wins. So a little bit of a ha timer scam at the end. You could have done it. Uh, was the perfect time to do it? He actually had a little bit of time so that. Got myself some curry today. Maybe I should use this. Maybe I should use this. Round one. Fight. Yeah, Keith, go ahead. You can start. Start the first one. <laughs> That's the thing. There's none. There's not. There's no best system. So the new system will be um, kind of homegrown. You know. Nice jump out of the corner, Sonic Lenderman. Looking like the ranked player that he is. He's playing that ranked. No, we don't give a fuck about lag here. We bask in it. You know, you know, one thing I don't really like about Sonic Benjamin's play is that I think he goes for too many big plays. It's okay to go for big plays, but not a neutral man. You gotta go for like smaller hits or like block or micro movement or something like that. You can't always... <laughs> I guess that one was okay. He had the meter to do stuff. Yeah, see like stuff like that? I don't know. Yeah, you didn't need to do that, man. Well, you really didn't. You could you could have at least turtled and made him use his meter, you know? No, he's not, even, he's not a Twitter player, because if you play like this, you're not going to be able to get anything notable on good players, right? That's just, that's just not that good. I mean, you can, you can play, I mean, if you want big plays, you can have big plays, but you gotta get the, you gotta get, earn it first, you know, like, win neutral somehow, man. you can't just fucking hit roundhouse and hope for the best, like, Spam burger, though, knowing full well what Sonic Benjamin's plans are, he's gonna, like, this guy is gonna hit some buttons and make a mistake, or he's not gonna hit one of his mix-ups, and then I'm just gonna capitalize. Sonic Glenjamin though, he didn't care what I said. He 
just gonna go for mix up over mix up. Working out so far. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Maybe I would like to think it's more consistent in the long run, but you know, two out of three, anything can happen. There you go. Looks like I won. Final round. Yeah, so I'd like to compare Sonic Glenjamin with another player. So the other player is uh, Twisted Rivera. I think they have a very similar style of play. But Twisted Rivera plays that neutral game until he gets a hit. Then he goes ham. <laughs> But then, you know, I think I think Sonic Glenjamin will get there, you know, uh, if, he, if he keeps grinding that rank and playing other be better players, you know. Looking pretty even this round though, Sonic Glenjamin looking good, maybe he's taking- Oh, never mind, he did take my advice. Dash up command throw when he's mine it. I don't give a fuck, man. And, oh, that was a- that was just a miss. Oh, no, that was. Oh my god, the plus two? Doesn't care. Ooh. I think he could have got a bullhead before the super. That's, I hope that doesn't bite him in the ass. Oh my god. Spamburger with the lack of optimization. Hopefully that's not gonna bite you in the ass. You know how this game is, man. You can die for that shit. Dude, you could have won. What the fuck, dude. <laughs> why don't we put together uh, why don't we put together a Twitter clip of that kind of shit yeah, that that was that was hot garbage I love it that was good shit man no I'm trolling but you know come on man I mean you know people say like fucking one. social media is like bad for your mental health and shit because you only see the good things right we gotta see like the bad things we gotta see the bad things happen. Yeah! Slipping on a banana peel. Good for Spam Burger, though. Okay. Well, maybe Sonic Glenjamin taking a little slower. He doesn't want to lose the set. I mean, it's two out of three. And live and buy, die by the randomness. By the quote unquote galaxy brain decisions. <laughs> Let's see about that. Oh. I don't want to deal with it, but Spamburger is not phased. It hits a button. It's only my. It's only minus two. Like with, with a, well, I don't know if I would hit a button. That shit. That shit hurts a Puma more than Birdie. Oh, check the dash. Dash command throw. Not dead though. Oh no. I think he was looking for the armor there, expecting a meaty. But no button. Glenn looking good. Actually that was that could have gone either way, huh? <laughs> Alex come back. That setup is good. Oh 
and a little bolster. Carry. Needy command throw. He had the life to do it that time. That was a really Alex good play wins. from Sonic Glenderman. Showing a little bit of adaptation, playing a slightly slower. That is good stuff. <laughs> Who will win, Sonic Glenderman or one soda can? Round one. Fight. Glenn's playing good now. Good thing I'm not gonna make fun of him anymore. I don't want him to win. I don't want him to win. <laughs> this is hype. Oh no, and the backdash. So was that a backdash or a jump? Or anyway, he was a, he was a slip out. Punish the shit out of that. You know, I, I, I uh, frequently forget about that. If you block the fourth gear, it's plus three, right? But his move is like his move is like six frames or whatever. It doesn't matter what the frame the frames are. I don't even remember what his moves are like frame wise. But all I know is in that situation, somebody was able to show me that. You know, somebody here in the chat was uh, reminded me at one point that. You can backdash any one of his moves, and if he commits to us to anything like a special move afterward, he's just gonna get jacked right there. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Put whatever you want. Okay. Round one. <laughs> Fight. You can send it to him. Ask him where he is. Oh, right. Yeah. I did. Hold on. There you go. Oh. <laughs> Who is Uncle Scar Scar 808? Oh, I know you. Oh, dude, we got switch. That was a nice, that was the right one. It hit the one a little bit too late. I think, yeah, just a little bit. Round two. Send that shit to Maui Brad and ask him where the fuck his ass is. Oh, it was okay. So, what did I say? Yeah, so far away, stand, medium punch, counter hit. We'll combo only into light kick drill. Okay. I've literally only seen one player do that. 
do more of. No. Hurt? Dizzy? 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 No. Nice tech. Wow. Good guess. Guess right. Oh, nice. Oh, oh good. Good use of V shift. Gets out of there. Oh my God! What is, too, what is going on? <laughs> oh, somebody got antsy. <laughs> oh my God, Tim! Tim, please, Tim! Oh man, that was like, if you guys know Tim from back in the day, that was like such a Tim thing to do. He knows exactly when to do that kind of shit. Fight. <laughs> Killer Instinct? Did you go play uh, Gutter Magic? Oh no. Okay. Damn, that's 1 0 and. Dude, looking. Tim, what, what the hell? Are you like. Damn, this guy's playing well. Up. Oh, you gotta attack the throw. Oh my god, and another EXDP. I think he missed one and hit like three. Oh, no. Get out of that corner. Hold up forward. Get out of the corner. Oh my god. <laughs> and then the last one doesn't work. That's okay though. That's okay though. If you don't know what to do and you have some life, just hold up forward. Take the anti -air. Space boosh, thanks for the tier one. Thanks, man. Nightmare start, man. Back throw into corner. No anti air. Come on, Wintu. Showing some turning nerves, huh? I think. I actually think that might have been a punish. I'm not sure. Maybe he could have DP'd there. Well, it didn't say reversal. That, that super is what, six frames, I think? Pretty damn fast. Round one. That string is, I don't know how. I gotta ask speak, Sleepy Guy, the master of jury. How negative is that uh, string there? Was it, like, was it like seven frames, eight frames? I don't know. I know it's bad though. Oh no. Damn. Yeah, keep, just keep doing that medium kick, Tim. Medium kick. Oh no. Very nice. Oh, you gotta tech those. Oh my god, Tim. <laughs> he has no idea what's going on. Wet tooth, please. Wet tooth, please. Round two. <laughs> oh no. Nice sweep. Again? Not getting any pressure on me, son. <laughs> Dude, that's how many reads in a row. That is punishable, but pretty hard. What? Guess it didn't get the combo there. Oh wow, last round. Let's go. It's a uh, Tim is definitely underdog, but for for what's going on here, Tim is actually the way more experienced player than uh, Web Two. Been playing playing uh, as long as I have, um, maybe even longer. I'm not sure. Oh no, <laughs> not like that though. 
Not sure why he stopped his combo. Maybe he wanted the, the stun. He wanted the stun to throw it less. He wanted to reset his combo. What to can't get a read on Tim. Oh, that's okay, it doesn't matter. Went down to the last round though. Good games, guys. Not sure how all of that happened, but that's just to show you that you know with all the shit that people talk about Cammy. The grid alternative. So I actually been playing Bison more recently, so I think this character actually helped me with my patience. So, um, otherwise, I would use Akuma for this matchup. I really like this Akuma. I, I really like the matchup with Akuma. But I've been playing more Bison, so here we go. I don't know how to talk and play it more at the same time. <laughs> Nice chip out. Okay, I wasn't aware of the jump ins that time. Wow. It's a counter hit only combo. Oh, angle was bad. So if he did the uh, the flash kick just a little bit later, it would have auto corrected. Either way, it was pretty close. Thank you, but I didn't win the set yet. Fight! <laughs> This is gonna hurt. 
clutch flames. Okay. <laughs> and the bison privilege on the corner control. <laughs> Big bad strawberry. Yeah, hell yeah, man. I like this outfit. I don't give a fuck what Maui Brad thinks. This outfit's sick. Checking. Oh no. They expect a plus two there. Nice activation. Caught me trying to swing. <laughs> Defensive options. Get out of there. Side of E trigger. <laughs> Who the hell? Who the hell doesn't do that, right? Slide V trigger is actually pretty uh, dangerous to do at a lot of ranges, so you have to have a read on your opponent, uh, knowing that they're not gonna neutral jump or try to back dash out of there or something like that. I think it was Alera actually, maybe. I think Alera might have said that. Yeah, what's up, Matt Aloha? How's it been, man? Like I haven't seen you in a long time. If you round one, fight. Oh, Kar Karin. Karin. Oh man, we've got the Nash in the house. The new 5.5 buffs. With that... That Soulbot. The godlike Soulbot now. Gutter and Magic! You were, you were, uh... I guess you weren't home yet, huh? Oh no, and I believe that was minus. Grabbed anyway, maybe slightly. A little bit of match unfamiliar. Like, I'm not familiar with this character. I think people forgot about this character. It's like a new matchup, right? People. How often do you fight Nash? You know? right. I was telling Wed too. You know, with Nash, he's like such a. Nobody's played this character, right? So you gotta, you gotta understand. Good players. They want to win, right? So they're not gonna pick a shitty character. So a lot of them didn't like went away from Nash for a very long time. Yeah. So all the players that were Nash, that were playing, still playing Nash during that time, frankly weren't that good, you know. And you know, of course there are some exceptions here and there, obviously, but uh, most of them, yeah, I think they weren't that good at, at, with the character. But yeah, now if you didn't play season one, oh, you are in for it. this character. This character will frustrate the crap out of you. It's over. Just... Leopard looking looking for Oh. I actually thought he was gonna try and uh be reversal out of the corner. But he wants that he wants he wants that mix or the hit confirm feature. Alright, I'm gonna stuff my face a little bit so I can go. Trying to get better, that's all.
Round one. Fight! So everyone watches Punk or Rob TV or whatever, Bone uh, Chan or whatever to play this character. And they think this character is a walk in the park. This character is fucking hard to play, man. This character is really hard to play, especially online. Like online, forget about forget about hit confirming and for it's hundred percent. Just gotta believe. Them. But it's not, a, no, it's not even about that. It's Round literally two. about standing Fight. in the right position. I'm gonna make these games like so fun, right? I think, especially for Street Fighter, you go a long way just by knowing where to stand. Yeah, I guess the overhead and or the Nash elbow win. that is plus. Uh, there's a five frame gap between them, like at least. Stream is Wet Tooth versus um, Mad Aloha and then just me. Uh, my, my match with uh, Uchinachu. Everybody else is off, off stream, Keith. Thank you. Round one. Fight. I haven't seen what uh, I haven't seen Matt Aloha play in a little bit. Nice punishes all around from Wet Tooth. Oh, and the solar plexus. Didn't want to get out of the corner though, you could have jumped over him that time. That's okay, push it back to mid, mid range, mid screen. No anti air. That's okay though. Anti air versus uh versus cami is too hard. Nice combo, nice confirm. That's it all. Yeah, I mean, I guess. Because I don't know if you missed that though. If you missed that though, that would have been. That would have been the one chance that Metal Metal needed to come back. I guess it's fine. I mean, you hit it, right? A lot of things are like that in this game. Like if you hit it, then oh, you're fine. But if you if you gamble and it didn't work out, you kind of lost, you know. And so you just gotta understand how to hedge your bets, depending on your the opponent that you're playing against. You gotta really make those right reads. The grand thing, the grand scheme of things, it's not it's not that random. I, I think uh, maybe one game, one game or so, pretty random sometimes, depending on the skill level. But, uh, but overall, not really that random. It's too far. Yeah. Combo after V trigger uh, drill. V trigger kind of strike. Okay, got juked out there. Oh my god! And the, and the reversal button, pressing button, getting counter hit. Battle Law kept it tight. Good check. Gabby has 
a little bit of lead, but... What? Okay, I'm not sure what that was. What out, though. He did a random mis-execution donkey kick. Got hit by it. Wait, that kind of stuff happens in this game. You gotta, you gotta keep that shit. Like, you gotta, you gotta stay strong, you know? So you can't be like... You can't just let it devolve into a scramble at that point. I think when that happened with you, kind of like had a little bit of a slip, right? And then now look what happened. You win. What two? Looking a little shaky on a defense, um, just getting shook up by little things. This is actually the mark of some kind of. I mean, it's obviously not good to lose, but it's it's a mark of a player. So if somebody's at the same skill level. How can you expect to 10 0 them, right? You cannot. Because because otherwise they won't be at, wouldn't be at the same skill level. So it's gotta it's gotta take it one game at a time, one decision at a time. The moment you crack. <laughs> you hesitate, that means you crack. What to switching to Nash? He's trying to play the lame game a little bit. Seen him play Nash recently. I would say he's still pretty green to the character, but Wetu is a very. Uh, I think he's very fundamentally sound as a player, as a new player. Probably the most fundamentally sound player uh, that I've met in recent years. Um, and that's not a diss to anyone. That just means he's, I just think he's really good. But he is a bit of a bit of a new player, so there are certain things that he, that may you know he, he may slip up. Began with Nash and ended with Nash. <laughs> wow, I'm not sure that was intentional. That was pretty nice. Round two. One hit confirmed in the house. On deck. Began with Nash and shall end with Nash. Well, I don't like Nash, so I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see it through that. Uh, doesn't happen. Nash is. I think he's a good character. I don't know about top tier, it's too early to tell, huh? Just a little bit. Oh, nice block. Cross on here. Oh my god. That was a good stagger on the charged fireball. Very nice. No check on the dash. Yuki? I think I called that one, huh? Oh no. Please do not overcome it, Mad Aloha. Oh, that was such a good, well-placed EX Fireball. That was... Last second, that was... That was, that was tight. Oh, that was a really nice EX Fireball. Did you see that? He's like, I'm gonna throw a Fireball. Oh, he's not gonna do shit. I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna go in. And what, what happened? EX Fireball. Last second. I don't like that. I don't like the use of that move, man. I really don't like the use of the EX. I, I really don't. I feel like it's not used. It's not worth the meter for Nash. You want to save that shit on combos. You want to sa save that shit for maybe EX fireball crab pressure in a corner, and then most of all EX sight, right? I don't know about using that uh, the upside down kick or whatever upside down, whatever that's called the the upside down flash kick. Yeah. What is it called? Sonic knife? Sonic something? Whatever. The wise man told me a long time ago, no one gives a fuck about the names of the moves. <laughs> and it's true. <laughs> Good bait on the EXDP that ties it up. 1-1. One, one. Nash wins. Wet 2 looking to find some footing. After a close game with Kami there. Just getting, I mean, it wasn't really a blow up, but it was kind of a, uh, you know, didn't, didn't look, look a little bit shaky, yeah. yeah. Round one. Fight. No, man. Sleepy isn't going to play Nash. Nash doesn't have boobs. Oh, nice combo. You didn't think the roundhouse would reach, maybe. DP? No. 
two parries in a row. Cheeky. I think he could have DP'd it today. That would have been a better call. But it doesn't matter. So. Holy crap. Matt Aloha making all the right calls. What's going on? Okay. Now with the corner pressure, what two? Oh, caught him hitting buttons. That is plus two. Can't hit buttons there. It's a five frame back medium kick, I think. That's a real frame trap. Oh my god, no anti airs, please. I want some cleaner, neutral, and less mashing. Come on, man. Mashing isn't working out. The, the reversal. Man, I thought Red 2 was going to lose that round for sure, but turned it around, played solid. That's what I want to see. Very nice. Jumps into the corner. You know, there's some kind of character in fighting game that, like, the chances of their them winning is uh, kind of proportionate to how much space is in back of them. <laughs> and that's just one of them. Yeah. You don't need to do this. All this stuff, this is like just for show. This is like if you get impatient or whatever, it gets a throw mix up here and there. It's like, oh, okay, I'll just get one of those. He's just running away. Dude, you have a, such a lively, you don't need to do that. Come on, man. I don't like the use of the light, light uh, somersault, yeah, moon salt, I guess. But I guess, um, Final round. I guess I learned the name of that move from Nash saying it out loud. <laughs> oh, last round, huh? Last round, guys. This is a. Uh, I was about to say Team Oahu team team kill, but not too many Oahu players, not too many uh, Outer Island players today. Dash throw. Yeah, wet tooth. Looking like you're pretty good. He's taking it slow. Doesn't want to get out of there. Not the best use of V trigger, but good enough. Let's, let's get out of there. So, looking like Madaloha is about to find some footing. Oh, I would have just taken the throw, bro. Look at your life. Oh, no. Nice activation. A medium kick. I don't like that, man. I really don't. I really don't like that. Oh, by the way, Madelow, you're really brave for doing a DP there, but it worked out. And this is gonna be, looks like a clutch moment. Oh no. <laughs> what? You can't crush counter that anyway. Oh my god. And we call that the Evil West. So, you win. so everyone from Brian's days that used to play with us all the time, I lost to Mike Watson, one of the best players of all time, by the way. Really, really good player. I lost to him last game, last round in third strike because I back jumped and landed on a EX Fireball. So ever since then, they called that the, fifth, the, the Evil West. So that is just how I lost once and uh, I, I would never live it down. Everyone just called that the Evil West. Whenever they jump back and land on a fireball, they're like, oh, you're like, oh, Evil West, wang, Evil West. <laughs> Afterwards. They were both uh, losers bracket. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Picked the wrong outfit. Whatever. I was I was thinking about Ken for a little bit. Sorry, I forgot to change the name. There you go. Okay, there's the names. Grandjamin, yeah. Round one. Fight! Lucky jump there. I'm guessing a Sonic Boom. I 
I did that a little bit late, but he could have uh, pressed the button. Good spacing. Yeah, I hit a button so I can't end there. Ate my info. I hit the jab, but wasn't going for it. I didn't expect a counter hit there. Round two. I think he could have blocked that one. Did it a little bit late. I was trying to watch for his back dash that time. Good choice. I hit jab a little slow. I wanted that tech. Oh god. Hit the, hit the second strong too, too early in that situation. Oh, I didn't EX. Oh, I think there's a. I should practice. Yeah, so what I was gonna say was so it, it traded with a button, right? <laughs> it's like a crush. There's actually a follow up to the trade. It's actually it's like it's pretty sick. But I never practiced that. Yeah. that. Want me to get out of the corner? How huh, this guy? Oh my God! He could have swept me or something. Missed come from there. Wow, that was so ambiguous. I stood at the worst place possible at that time. That's a grappler jump distance. Alright, I was trying to get a meaty that time, like a really far hit. That way I get plus frames. So they actually buffed that, 
this game, in this well. version, I think. Uh, before, you can only get up to plus one. You can get up to plus three now. We actually made it better. One one. You lose. Wow, I can't he I can't believe he hit a button there. It's pretty got it kinda of boggles my mind. That is really, really plus. You know, I think if I if I know that my uh, opponent is not familiar, I should just not do any I should not like get in my own head, you know. Round one. Activate. Scissor kick I did earlier. But I'm very concentrated on the anti air now. Guile gets her away with a few jumps at the game. Alright, good games, man. Made me play really hard that last round. Holy crap. You win! Yeah, so you know how it is with these characters, right? Like, Guile is the same way. Good games, man. That was good. Um, so, Gaio is one of those characters. Like, you, if you let him get away with one thing, uh, it's just gonna snowball. Yeah. Oh god, it already started. Okay, so let's change this shit real quick. You guys still can hear me? Okay. I wonder why I got skipped like that. Fight. So 
that's an interesting matchup. I, just, uh, I actually think this is not this is one of Guile's bad matches. So especially V skill one, uh, and arguably even V skill two right now with the dash punch bug and the turnaround punch. With this character, like you can pretty much nullify Guile's booms, right? So compared to other games, Guile's booms are actually slower in this game, like uh, recovery wise. So you have to watch out for V skill. Careful. And the safe low, that, that was a safe low. Very nice use of the safe low. Maybe he was going to walk back or wasn't looking for it. Oh, thanks for the, thanks for the mic check, Koopa. Oh, nice. Footsies. Nice sweep. Oh, and the, and the duff. Oh, there's a dash in throw, doesn't work. Hey, corner corner control for Rog. I'm seeing a little bit of uh, like mistakes with uh, some spacing here and there, causing some weird situations. But that's okay, it's father son though, still maintaining his position. Very nice. Watch out, can't throw too many booms now, you're gonna get super. Or you can jump in and get your own super. Off. That was the tip of the jump roundhouse, very nice spacing by running there. That's another example of a grapple jump, right? Because, especially on uh, Balrog, right? The back medium punch, the stand, stand medium punch, uh, or whatever his anti air is, or his down pierce, he doesn't go that far. If he wants to far anti air, he needs to do light punch, which is, also has no invincibility, so it's much harder to use. Yeah. So that is actually what makes this character hard to play. Like, uh, really good neutral and anti air. Like, really difficult. But, Ground game? Ground game? This character has broken ground game. Controls the ground so well. But, you know, like they say, right? Like, what I tell people is, you know, your footies don't mean shit if you can't have that. Because they're just going to be like, oh, I'm going to just skip this shit and jump in. So your anti airs has to be on point with this character. Oh, no, I don't know what that was. Maybe he tried to activate? Did he miss the activation? Oh, that was a fucking YOLO and a half of everything. I agree with these. Camera buffs. Watch out, he has full stock, man. Full stock, dude. Full stock. Watch out. Oh my goodness, that was so good. The one thing that would have won him the match. He got exactly that. Dude, you know, everyone, like, I just want everyone to see, man. Like, this is, this is a loser's bracket, and and like, we're we're getting some like really really good matches here, you know. Like, everyone's leveling up, it's so good. No. Round one. Fight. Okay. Hey, you don't need to do that, man. Just, just be skill punch. He can't do it. He can't do anything about it. <laughs> you do it at a distance. You can't. He can't do anything about it, man. Yeah, just actually, he can't. Kyle can't throw booms like crazy in this matchup. He has to kind of play it slow and walk and block and shit like that. Okay, that was a little bit of a punish. Oh. Wanted to catch the catch the back dash or walk. Air to air. Wanted that counter hit. Doesn't get it. Plus frame? No? What was that? No confirm? Oh man, I think he's getting desperate. Let's not get desperate. I don't want to see that. It's ugly when you get desperate. But it looks like the, the just 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 hitting button is working. Maybe Roku Bear just a little bit unfamiliar with this matchup. That's also the reason why maybe why he's throwing so many booms. A little bit unfamiliar, unfamiliar. and father's not trying to take advantage of that. You know, it's okay to do that once in a while. Oh no, and that's another reason why I said unfamiliar. Turn punch is completely safe, it's only minus two. So if you're not used to the matchup, you're not going to know the difference between uh, you know, the different dash punches, the turnaround punch, things like that. They all look kind of similar, but you, you got to know which one's which. 
activation. Not sure why he went for a raw activation, but okay. Now, now he's dropping the trigger. Dude, you can. Yeah, you gotta use the V V uh, V skill to get get over get get around the Sonic Boom, man. That's like the main reason why booms are bad. That was a nicely spaced dash punch. So was that. You see, you see what happens is um, they're minus four or whatever. Damn, the T bag? Got mind games up in this? <laughs> uh, so if you if you do minus four dub dash punch and then do a four frame, it's not in range. Then you got a plus plus on block. Mode. Dash punch. Whoa, what? That was actually pretty godlike. That was actually godlike. Holy shit. I don't think that was a confirm. I think that was just he felt it. He totally just felt it. Yeah. No, that that was not a comfort. That was that was definitely just a, a read, I would say. But a good read on his Round part. One. He's like he's gonna get Fight. hit or he's gonna he's gonna hit a button right about now. This matchup is not a good it's not a good matchup for guy. Betting on black is good. But Father Son, I don't think he knows this matchup. <laughs> he's not doing the one thing like you know, it's it's, it's hard to sugarcoat things when he's not doing the one thing that makes his matchup hard. Right. It's, I, I, it's literally the one thing that he's not doing. Just be skill, do the sonic boom, and punch to the face. See, right, right there. Right there, that was perfect distance. Just fucking do it. You don't even have to see that a sonic boom is in play. If you hit the... If you hit the V skill punch at max distance, it's minus four, and it has the same effect as his dash punch. So there's actually no... Pretty much no, almost no risk. But the only time you have to worry is if the guy will start jumping up and down or whatever like that, and you're trying, trying to hard read you. Yeah, that's it. No. No overhead. Yeah, now he's just swinging for the fences because I think Goku Bear doesn't know what to do. He's realizing that Goku Bear is a little bit uh, new to this match. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, exactly like that. Exactly like that. The second one, I think he got lucky, but exactly like that. Go through the Sonic move with your beast. beast. Oh, I don't know, man. I don't know if going for it. I know it's working, but I don't know about that. So if you think about it, like what does the counter do that, right? The counter is to anticipate the dash punch and then uh, you know, hit, try to hit a button during the block stun or after the block stun, right? Off their block. It's, it's gonna be a punish anyway. The best characters in the game. Uh, it's hard to say, it's pretty balanced. I mean, if you wanna go by statistics, I wanna say maybe Cammy right now. Very <laughs> That's why so far Cammy, yeah. For sure. Yeah. I think currently, you know, there's some there's some Yurian, there's some uh, there's I mean Akuma is still up there, obviously. And you have po Poison of course is a good character. And you got uh, uh, Rashid of course. Yeah. Bow down. Yeah, Alex is pretty good, but I don't think he's top top Round five. Right? One. Fight. Right there. Right there. So, 
if they get smart and they start to check your pressure, right, with Bison, he's gonna walk up and then try to air to air. You know, if they try to jump, try to hard read my scissor kick like that. He's gonna jump. I'm just gonna jump and check them. So if you try to do that at the wrong time, you're just gonna eat a lot of damage. That was too far, too close. I mean. So at that range, I can only get a jab. Because I want more time to be able to react. I'm gonna wait for this to run out. If not, I check the dash that time. Well, the cartwheel is super slow. Greedy of me, huh? Time out. Final round. Fight. I'm dashing against him because he's not. He didn't not. He's not demonstrating the fact that he can check it all the time. For too many things at once, that's what happens, right? Uh, you fun win. fact: I think Bison has the second most, uh, maybe second or most. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I can't believe he teched there. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, I, he has the second slowest dash. Yeah, so I think he's looking for the wrong thing. That's why I'm able to dash. And because of that, it's. Uh, you know, if I'm confident to dash, that gives me a little bit more opportunity. I'm not going to do it all the time, obviously. That was a good check. Alright, concentrate. It's, uh, not Round paying attention. Two. But too, you're right. Um, that's why I, when I check bison dashes, I always use medium. I don't use jabs. That was a mistake. I didn't try to style on him. 
Oh, that was jump medium, medium. I like bad execution. You lose. Oh, that was just lucky. I hit, I got, I hit a grab right before he landed, so it happens. I'm a little bit triggered by what he was doing. He was doing a lot of stuff that was very, like, that's not the I, I consider it not so good strategy. So I need to when that kind of stuff happens and you don't agree with your opponent's decisions. You have to remove the opponent from the mind mindset. And you have to think about the, only the character and what they do. Otherwise, you get too frustrated and you can't think about other things. Oh, uh, no worries. Yeah, father son. I hope I hope everything's okay. Three times, really? Come on, man. Of options. Thanks for not punishing me. Get Oki like that afterwards, man. You Unless win. you dash late, I'm not sure, but that did not look plus, so I went for a button. It's okay. The way to get better at these games is take it, Round take it one. play by play. Fight. If you focus on the win too much. It's not gonna get better. Oh. See what Madaloha has to say about this. This is a uh, historically, I think Sleepy Man's very good against Ryu, obviously because you know there's a ton of Ryu on. There. But uh, I think Sleepy Man also has a tough time against this character, mostly because in this game Ryu is so unga. Don't you think? Don't you guys think Ryu is like one of the most unga characters in this game? I think uh, very yeah, high damage output off of like random hits and shit. Right. Very different from just like super solid. Although you can play him like that as well, which is great. Caught him teching. 
Dude, Ryu is really unco in this game. That's not even a joke. <laughs> yeah, but the thing is, he, you know, I mean, at higher levels, I think with Ryu, it's very scary that he can play solid and offensively at the same time. I mean, historically, Ryu has obviously a hard time against players, characters that are good against fireballs and shit like that, right? That's uh, that's just by his design. Can't really help that. Oh, this looks like a mauling. Oh my god! And the, I, I don't even think that was a late back throw. I think he just threw because he knew that the throw was gonna kill. That was not delayed. That was just set play plus two set play. And and Madaloha didn't even like. Doesn't even know what happened, I think. I just, it just went by so fast. So I gotta swap the names. One on... Oh, what am I doing? One on Sleepy Man's side. Sleepy Man's on the right. <laughs> Raise the roof and big slow pancakes. <laughs> Good, well spaced jump in and cheeky overhead for the for the win. You know, uh, I, you know, to to be honest, that that overhead was a little bit unsuspecting uh, because it was a little farther than usual. CP Man wasn't ready for it. Usually, CP Man is very good about blocking those um, when it counts. Chooses oh. not to tech. I respect it. Tries to trying to. Trying to get out of the corner right now, so so ate an anti-air and now back in the corner. Oh no, no DP from Sleepy Man. Oh, reacted a little bit late. Last guess. One more guess. <laughs> oh, and the shimmy, the shimmy into throw. Dude, you started shimmying like before, <laughs> before it got up and shit. For dramatic effect, yeah. <laughs> oh no. I said oh no in, in response to the minus frames that Sleepy Man was, was uh, expecting there. Bust out, not afraid, I respect it. Oh, eat the entire fireball. Oh my god, that was like... That was really close from... I, I think that... So that DP is 7 frames. It's not the best DP ever. So that could have actually gone really badly if it was like a frame or two late. Wow, he picked the he picked a Leo outfit. I actually respect that. I like his outfit. Okay, let's rumble. It's pretty cool. Round one. Fight. Bad game for the house. Come on, fighting. Come on, fighting. Sweep from downtown. Sonic Benjamin says I came here to play. I'm intrigued at the uh, glance positioning. I'm always, always wondering what he's going to do next. Oh, that was actually a really good parry. He didn't just mash it, he went into he went straight into uh, toward fierce lariat. Alright, yeah. 
Yeah, the buttons. Alex's Alex's buttons are good, man. Some good buttons. Dude, Sleepy Man, man. Am I not right though? Ryu is like a pretty Onga character, don't you think? He's, and he's actually played, I think in some cases, uh, his offense is really good because of that. Oh! Tick throw? Oh, I wonder what he did there. Maybe backdash? Sure. He's like the most unga in the game. <laughs> He's up there. Very nice. I'm gonna assume that Kalization likes grapplers. Alex so wins. if you're gonna play a grappler in this game, uh, I would start with Miko or Laura in this game. Uh, I think Zangief requires a little bit. Actually, maybe Zangief is a better starter character than Laura. But I think Mika and Zangief are easier to play. Laura's are just a little bit harder. Yeah. No, Mika's not that solid, dude. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> She's, she has, she's explosive, but she's not exactly solid. Mm. You, you're not considered, you, you don't consider yourself a grappler. Um, if you want to play a character that is offense heavy or whatever, you might want to try a Kami, or you might want to try like uh, Dora. Yeah, you know that type of character. Let me update the score real quick. What are you talking about? Sim just fucking won Red Bull Kumite. What the hell are you smoking? <laughs> and mind you, that was a first to five, bro. That was a first to five set. Sweep. Glenn going for the big plays though. It looks like it's working out though. Oh no. Didn't cancel fast enough though. I think that works. The jab jab short. Definitely something he gained from for this team. Oh, that was a really good carry. Back in a corner. Very good use of suplex there. Besides which jumps into the corner. Oh no. Glenn, why did you jump into the corner, Glenn? Oh no, and the back throw, hella Alex unusual, wins. okay, and then the, that's a 2-0 from Clank Benjamin, unfortunate mistake, play, play how you want to play, but all I gotta say is if somebody, if, if somebody sniffs out that you're trying to do weird shit like that, you're just, you're just never gonna win. Round one, fight. Oh, what? What is going on here? Yeah, see, this is another thing about Koopa. Right. He's so, like, polarizing the way he plays. He's either, like, hitting buttons all the time, or he's just, like, turtling like crazy. Okay, so, Wet Tooth mind game kind of backfired a little bit. <laughs> Let's go, Koopa. Don't let, don't let him do that to you. I don't think Kami had really has the life to troll like that. That was weird. What happened? There might have been a little bit of lag there. Not sure why. But two drops the standing jab into DP combo. Oh wow! Nice sweep. Wet two used to play Laura, so definitely knows this character. Nice throw. And the meaty stand around her toward roundhouse. Round two. Fight. Yeah. So Cammy's dive kick has more recovery on whiff, that's it. So one of the one of the things, although Sweepy Man already said it was uh, unaffected by G V shift, the V shift 
conversion is is more punishable now. Uh, I, I think it's a separate change though, but it is more punishable. He's looking for a fireball again there. Standing medium kick, wow. That was a kind of a little bit of a dangerous dive kick, but worked out. Safe pressure. Once that safe pressure into doesn't have to overcome it. Very nice confirm. That is one. Forward two. Same as the blockster. I see. Oh, I got the names backwards. So. Yeah, well, anyway, all I know is that on V-Shift, it's actually punishable by medium button at the very least now. If you V-Shift it early, you can actually punish it with a heavy. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat a little bit more. But what a hit. Round two. Down fierce V trigger. He definitely needed that for a round. Yeah, all these rounds are pretty close, you know. Even though they're too old in this kind of they're pretty close rounds. I'm gonna eat some more so it's gonna be a little bit softer again. Actually, you have to Round actually two. make sure your opponent is waking up into a move if you want to pressure them when you have a parry. This is 
is why this is why people sleep on Gil. Like, Gil is actually a decent character until of that because you have to change the way you play against him. Alright, how many how many characters do you have to do that? Right. In this game quite a bit. Right. There's a lot of matchup potential stuff. Like playing against Zangi is like a special way of playing it. Playing against Mika is a special way of playing it, right? And playing against, of course, like Dalton. Right? Those are all good characters. If your character is, if your character is more general, like you, right? And then the opponent doesn't have to do as much homework. Right? It also means your fundamentals have to be good. Whiff. Hatsu, he could have could have gotten the cost of Hatsu. Oh, there you go. Oh, I don't even know what happened there. There's all kinds of spaghetti. Final round. Fight. So that slash was minus uh, four. And Matt did that jab like slightly late to be like two points. Like ended up getting getting parried <laughs> because it recovered so fast he ended up blocking right the, the follow-up <laughs> it's all kinds of spaghetti oh no nice meeting yeah, everybody's scared i don't see any anti around this, this entire game right now <laughs> mad aloha Using that solar plexus strike. You win. I think I saw it. I think I saw a T-shirt with a. It was like a. What is that like a sh shadow of a solar plexus strike? Ryu really doing a solar plexus strike. And it just says toward hard punch on the shirt. It's pretty. Pretty amazing. <laughs> and it has a. It had like one. Ryu's champion edition. Fight. Like face on it. Or you can sweep that, I think. Maybe you don't. Know. I disagree with Glenn for using so many sweeps. I think maybe at max distance would be okay. That was a attempt at punish, punishing. Yeah, that's just minus five. Uh, elbow. Nice back dash out of pressure. Like that. Oh, he wants that guard baby. Disagree with the meter usage. He could prorate a little too much for that. Probably would have been a little bit better to save the meter and maybe go for medium tatsu. It's okay if you want to want some damage. You still have a lot of meter. But in this situation, if you, uh, if you kept your meter, would have had CA by When you have CA, the entire matchup changed. Right. And that was a good DP. Round two. I mean, whatever, whenever DP Fight. hits, is a good DP. <laughs> good check. So only minus two. That was a good check on Mad Loha's part. To the untrained eye, it might look like you know, this guy's crazy pressing buttons on plus two. Against grapplers, sometimes you have to, especially on characters like Bison. You have to, otherwise you're blocking forever, right? You gotta, you gotta do something. However, I'm just giving Mad Love the benefit of the doubt that he knew that. But that might have not been true. <laughs> I always expense, uh, ex uh, expect the best. <laughs> Glenn dying is generally considered bad. Oh my god. Dude, how much did you have to drink, man? That was that was a little bit like you win. Were you even looking at your screen? Yeah. That's okay though. We got what is that? 2-0? Makes you want to open it. It's a good thing to do once in a while. The one thing that Sleepy Man I think in that kind of situation is what what he actually op I mean there's there's a good thing and a bad thing, right? for every kind of Round one. You know, stylistic choice, Fight. right? So in that situation, I think sometimes it's, he finds it, I bet he even finds it hard to control his movement and 
constitution. He's moving that fast. Oh, did you see that? It just straight up beat her to anti air. Nice counter hit. Counter hit combo. Let's get off of me. Damn, that was a good walk-up frame trap. That was that was immaculate timing. I couldn't hear the important part of what. I just said that you know if you. If you uh, move around with your character more, then you have a hard time, harder time controlling your spacing as much. That's the trade-off, right? So you have to put more effort in into that part. Oh. oh, this is a pretty close set, huh? Oh really? <laughs> yeah, my bad. I think uh, my my headset I, I I was eating, so it was um, a little far away. Fight. It's funny, uh, this commentary thing. I just looked like I'm talking to myself. Oh no! Bad reversal. Bad reversal. Didn't even go past him that time. Uh, one thing to know that Cammy's bad reversal is actually it's actually punishable. Yeah. So, be careful. That is my, it's actually minus six. But not only is it punishable, it's punishable by a medium. What an answer, huh? Round two. Defensive reads from Madaloha working out. Same with Web 2. So EXDP working out. A little bit of disrespect there. <laughs> Just um, Round wait till one. the end. You know, it's bad luck. <laughs> Just saying, it's like it's kind of like you're you seeing people that showboat, you know, like 
MMA matches or whatever, and then they, they get their fucking they get their fucking their, their ass kicked afterwards. It's like if you do it too early, it's, it's like some kind of bad luck, like unspoken bad luck or something, you know? I hope that that doesn't bite them in the ass, right? Wow, <laughs> and the answer back. You know, that's what I just said, man. Like, I wonder what's uh, you know, now 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 uh, Mad Loha's on set point. Let's uh, see if what dude can come back from that. Oh no, the tick throw. I like the movement from Mad Loha. Very uncertain. Or s uncertain uh, type of movement to throw your opponent off. Very interesting. That's okay, I would just take the throw, it's okay. She has V-Trigger. Oh my god, big damage. Alright, don't get hit. Alright, don't get hit by the V-Trigger. Oh my god, you got hit by the V-Trigger. <laughs> That's okay, no more V-Trigger. Oh my goodness. Okay. The state. Oh. Oh my god, what a way to end it! Oh my god, Mad Aloha coming up on top with the 2 1.